Morning everyone and welcome back to Hills and Hollers Homesteading and Prepping with Mike. And this morning, well, we got about six inches of snow on the ground out there and it's still snowing. So none of us was happy to see that, but we have no control of it. So we're going to do inside stuff today. Our kitchen is always a flurry of activity. I mean, probably the, the busiest and most active rooms in this home are our kitchen and our little dining area over here because we're, <laughs> we're constantly doing something in the kitchen. We're, we're vacuum sealing, we're, we're baking, we're, we're cooking, we're doing this, we're doing that. And uh, now the wife is getting uh, seed uh, trays and stuff ready for getting some seeds started and everything. And uh, <clears throat> we've already got, let's see here. So we've got, these are um, elderberry bushes that we ordered from a, uh, uh, a nursery in Ohio that they actually have a big elderberry farm. Uh, great folks every one of the uh the trimmings that we got or the the starters that we got every one of them have, have sprouted so far done really well um we've got some snake plants and little palm plants and stuff in here just to put in each room in the house we have got these are uh blueberry and raspberries there's some more elderberries these are blueberries and raspberries and then we got the seed trays getting started here so this is <laughs> this is what we do um, we're always constantly into something in here and that's why our, our kitchen is always just there, there's always stuff on the island this island's like seven feet long and almost four feet wide so there's always stuff on it we're always doing something in here uh, today I'm going to finish up the pemmican and I know it's been a few weeks since I've done the first video on that but uh, pemmican the way that you do it of course is you, it's dry you make sure when you do dry it this is what it turns out so it it just dry and crunchy and it's not it's way past drier than any uh, uh jerky that you would do and just put it in a food processor and what you're going to end up with is this meat powder okay and that's all you do to it don't season it or anything until you're done with this All right, now the next step with this is, is you weigh this out and you want equal weight of the meat powder and equal weight of the beef tallow. Now beef tallow is just nothing more than rendered beef fat is all it is. It's like lard, it's, it's rent, but this is the, the beef version of it. We actually bought this on Amazon. I could have, we could have rendered it ourselves and we will in the future, but this was uh, grass fed, grass finished. Um, beef tallow and what we're going to do is we'll take this and i'll render this down a little bit <clears throat> to get a liquid and measure out equal portions on weight like one pound of this to one pound of this and then we'll mix this together until you get almost like a uh, probably i won't say peanut butter consistency because it won't get that consistency but just enough to form it and what you're going to do is, is you want it to bind okay that's going to be your binder and it's going to bind together now I can add seasoning to that and typically what I would do is this is one of my favorite seasonings for steaks and stuff so I can do this or there's another one that this Dave's uh, famous steak and burger this stuff is fantastic so I love this stuff too so I may do a little bit with each of those and then of course I've got the blueberries that I dehydrated I just bought blueberries at the store and I, de I dehydrated them here at the house. And I'm going to do just a little bit with this because anytime that you add something other than the meat and the tallow to this, it has the tendency, it, it has the potential to not have as long a shelf life. So by adding, even just by adding blueberries, and I'm going to vacuum seal this. You don't have to do that. You could put it in, in just Ziploc bags, but I'm going to vacuum seal it and that way it's going to keep longer. Um, I may eventually eat some of the this at first to see you know kind of what it tastes like but 
ultimately this is going to be our part of our stores and stuff like that, our fat stores or our food stores because of the good fat protein and everything that's in it. And um, the blueberries are just for flavoring. Some people do nuts, they do blueberries, they do different kinds of fruits and stuff. I'm not going to do that because that has the potential to go bad sooner uh, and, and kind of decrease it, its shelf life. So we're going to do this. I'll pop a couple different videos on here today. They'll be short videos because I, there's a lot I want to get done in the house today and stuff because the weather's just going to keep me from going outside and doing a whole lot, anything productive anyways. So I'll do a couple short videos and load them up on here today. Um, but since the last time, it's been several weeks, um, this this pemmican's been, been the, dry, the meat's dry, so it's preserved. There's, there's no chance I've had it sealed up, so there's no chance of bacteria and stuff to grow in it. So it's fine, and uh, I'm going to get it portioned out. And I'll add those videos here later. But um, this is going to be number two. And then the, the third series will be the finished product and everything here. And then uh, we're going to see what else we can get into today. So short video today for now. And then uh, a couple more to follow later. Uh, Pemmican series number two here. And we'll get her done and get the video up. Take care, folks. Keep prepping. And God bless.